Welcome back viewers. We thought we'd give you a quick look around the Domburg area of Suriname where we parked the boat. Then we're going to head downtown, clear out, get some veggies and head off for the 400 miles or so to Grenada. Listen, can you hear the toads? The frog chorus. And I always thought they went rivet, rivet. It rained a bit yesterday, so we're out for a walk and we're looking for the luxury resort and I'm not entirely sure we're going to find it up this street. And we didn't, or we did, but it was closed. So that was it, into town and start the checking out process. Maybe pick up a merc on the way. But we certainly needed vegetables and we needed that all important stamp on the passport. Now we have to reverse the process of clearing out, or reverse the process of clearing in. Out, out, it was veggie time. Lots an offer at the street stalls, so here we go, crazy. Yes, we have no bananas. And these are vegetable baseball bats. And I think that's maybe last week's bananas, this week's bananas, and then some greenery. And if they like your greens, you can actually braid them in your hair if you fancy. We were going to stop at Ben's Christmas Palace, but Christmas was in Grenada. So let's get moving. And here's one of the suspiciously large houses, which our local taxi driver assures us is all drug barons. And the owner currently enjoying a few years courtesy of the prison service of the Netherlands. Best place for them, that's what I say. Oops, I'll delete that. It's a busy place as night falls. That guy just went past at 17 knots. And here we are, 370 miles from Grenada. And The wind turned 108 degrees, it's blown like stinking, it's tipping the rain, and it's bloody freezing, and it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Because the rain does have its consolation, so it will wash out the faucet. And hopefully it will wash away all the moths and flies that are breathing on our sailboats. So after nearly 7,000 miles from Cape Town, at long last we get a flat sea, a good breeze, on a reach. And so, with the immaculate timing that has bedeviled this voyage, as the sun gets set to disappear below the horizon, Grenada appears on ours. So, fumble our way in to the anchorage in the dark and see how we get on. Grief dodging. I love it. My cousin Keith, a long-term resident of Grenada of some 30 years, turned up to welcome us back. We'd left Scotland in July 2011 and Grenada in January 2016. All told, we did over 74,000 miles and 62 countries over 11 years and three months. We had some great times and we met many, many great people. We made friends for life, Facebook friends and WhatsApp chums. We lost a few and we gained a few. And perhaps over Christmas I'll put together a reprise of the last 11 years. Fortunately, you didn't have to watch all 11 years. And with that, all we have to say is...